Hi, I'm Spencer Couch, and this is Financial Pop, episode 20, Tommy Boy. Uh, so uh, I was recently on LinkedIn, and I found an article written by a William Mason about five uh, sales lessons that he had learned from uh, Tommy Boy, the 90s movie uh, with uh, Chris Farley and David Spade. Now in the movie, if you haven't seen it, uh, Chris Farley and David Spade are driving around, their characters are driving around uh, trying to save uh, the, the Callahan Auto Parts um, by directly selling their, their products. Um, and uh, they're, they're having some, some troubles. Tommy, uh, who is the son of the founder of the company, uh, who uh, unexpectedly passed away, uh, Tommy doesn't really have sales skills. skills. So they're struggling to, to get things going. Well, they, they get to a point where uh, they're, they, they get into a big fight. Uh, Richard ends up hitting Tommy with a board and knocking him out. And they're uh, now, in this first clip that we're going to watch, they're, uh, they're going to be eating, uh, eating lunch or ordering some lunch. Uh, and uh, and you, we can see the first breakthrough that they have in Tommy's cell skills. So let's take a look. Waitress, could I get that shrimp cocktail I saw in the glass case? Yep. And you, what can I get? Jesus, what happened to your face? I knew it. See, Richard, I'll have chicken wings. The kitchen's closed until dinner. Just got cold stuff and desserts. Boy, some chicken wings had really hit the spot. You sure it's closed? Let me check. Yep, it's closed. OK, I'll just have a sugar packet or two. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Helen. That's nice. You look like a Helen. Helen, we're both in sales. Let me tell you why I suck as a salesman. Let's say I go into some guy's office. Let's say he's even remotely interested in buying something. Well, then I get all excited. I'm like, Jojo, the idiot circus boy with a pretty new pet. The pet is my possible sale. Oh, my pretty little pet. I love you. So I stroke it, and I pet it, and I massage it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love my little naughty pet. You're naughty. And then I take my naughty pet, and I go... <laughs> <laughs> oh! I killed it! I... Killed my sale. <laughs> that's when I blow it. But that's when people like us have got to forge ahead, Helen. Am I right? God, you're sick. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll go turn the fryers back on and throw some wings in for you. Hey, thanks, Helen. Tummy likey. Tummy want wingy. Did that board of the head knock something loose? What are you talking about? That 180 you just pulled with the waitress. Why can't you sell like that? I was just having fun. If we didn't get the wings, so what? Okay, as I mentioned earlier, there are five uh, five things that uh, are in this article about sales. In this, from this video clip, we're going to look at two, uh, three of those. Uh, the first one is use humor. Uh, if you're trying to sell someone, uh, whether it's actually selling or trying to convince them of something, humor is a great way to get there. If you can get them to laugh, they're on your side. Um, now it doesn't automatically translate into a sell, but uh, it is, uh, you know, it's a, definitely a, a step in the right direction. Now the second one is uh, be yourself. Uh, don't don't try to be someone that you're not. Don't try to don't try to uh, you, you know. I mean, there's the old classic phase: fake it till you make it. To some extent, you can you can do that, but you don't want to be uh, faking it way out of your out of your range. You want to be you want to be yourself and you want to be uh, be talking to someone in a way that you can actually be yourself now the third thing is vulnerability show some vulnerability um, you know let everyone know that you're not perfect uh, that, you know that you, that you have struggles too or, or that you know you, you struggled in this way or you had a problem a problem with this or you know, whatever it may be now when we when we see this clip here Tommy did all three of those things he showed vulnerability by telling Helen how bad of a salesman he is. Um, he was funny because you thought he was just being crazy with his, with the uh, with the role, and then all of a sudden he strangles it and rips it apart, and uh, it made it made, uh, made her laugh. And then Tommy was himself as well. He uh, he was he wasn't uh, trying to sell her on things like he like he said at the end there. Who cares if they got the wings or not? They weren't getting them before, so what difference did it make? He could just be himself and just have fun. That's going to be the key to anything you're doing. And if you think you're not in sales, 
Uh, well, I got news for you. Uh, everyone is in sales. It doesn't matter if you're selling a product for, for income. You have to sell people on yourself. You have to sell people on, uh, on what, you, what you believe, what you want in order to get them to do those things. So these are three things that we can learn. Uh, uh, the first three things, uh, be, uh, be humorous, be yourself, and show some vulnerability. Now let's take a, a look at the, this next clip here. It's basically the scene immediately after, uh, and they're, uh, they're trying to implement the, the lessons that they've learned from this chicken wings incident. I like your line, I like your prices. But there's a problem. There's no guarantee on the box. Heck, if something breaks down, you can call me, even if I'm home watching TV. Callahan has guaranteed every part sold since 1925. Maybe so, but it's not on the box. It should always be on the box, comforting you, calling out, I'm good, I'll never let you down, but if I do, I'm going to make things all better. Our brake pads are made with a non-corrosive poly plate. Son, if you're not talking about a guarantee, skip it. My customers need to see that little label looking them right in the eye. Hey, you can get a good look at your butcher. No. What? Remember, chicken wings. Chicken wings? All right, you want to talk about guarantees, then, fellas, you just ran out of time. Chicken wings. Let's think about this for a sec, Ted. Why would somebody put a guarantee on a box? Hmm, very interesting. Go on, I'm listening. Here's the way I see it, Ted. Guy puts a fancy guarantee in a box because he wants you to feel all warm and toasty inside. Yeah, makes a man feel good. Of course it does. Why shouldn't it? You figure you put that little box under your pillow at night, the guarantee fairy might come by and leave a quarter. Am I right, Ted? <laughs> What's your point? The point is, how do you know the fairy isn't a crazy glue sniffer? Building model airplanes, says the little fairy. Well, we're not buying it. He sneaks into your house once, that's all it takes. Next thing you know, there's money missing off the dresser and your daughter's knocked up. I've seen it a hundred times. But why do they put a guarantee on the box, then? Because they know all they sold you was a guaranteed piece of shit. That's all it is, isn't it? Hey, if you want me to take a dump in a box and mark it guaranteed, I will. I got spare time. But for now, for your customer's sake, for your daughter's sake, you might want to think about buying a quality product from me. Okay, I'll buy from you. Oh, well, that's what? Okay, so we can see that you know you can you can take a crap in a box and mark a guarantee on it. Yeah, you know, that's that's kind of humorous and and a little bit out there. Uh, but uh, you know that's not the whole point of this. What we see when we start this scene is. Uh, Tommy and Richard uh, can't get can't get this guy to, to listen to him really. There's no guarantee. He's not going to listen to anything else. There's no guarantee on the box. That's all that matters. It, even though they've guaranteed it uh, anyway, the the guarantee on the box has to be there. And then um, uh, Tommy goes in. It starts to say something, and and you know that if you've seen the movie, he's said before, and he keeps screwing it up. But uh, Richard stops him, and then Richard says to him, "Chicken wings," and that reminds Tommy. To you know, do those first three things: be uh, be humorous, uh, be yourself, and show some show some vulnerability. So uh, Tommy goes uh, goes in and he he nails the last two of the of these five five rules, and that is he is confident, um, and he uh, he really believes in and loves the product that he's selling. Um, it's his it's his family product. It's his legacy. And so, uh, so he he's able to to use all of these th these things because he's uh, he's confident in it because it is a product that he loves. Um, he's able to be himself. He's able to be confident. Um, uh, he's able to uh, be humorous and and show some vulnerability at the same time. Uh, I said confident a couple times in there. Sorry, uh, but so he he used all five of those those things and was able to turn this guy around from saying you have to have a guarantee on the box to saying okay I'll buy from you. So, uh, you know, regardless of what your profession is, regardless of whether you, uh, whether you work outside of the home or not, uh, remember these five things uh, to, in order to convince people to do uh, what you want them to do. Be humorous, be yourself, uh, show some vulnerability when appropriate, be confident, and uh, love, love the product that you're selling or love the, the uh, idea that you're trying to espouse. Um, and my challenge to you is remember these five things from Tommy Boy. And if you haven't seen it in a long time, go back and watch it. Uh, it's, it's a funny movie. You'll be happier for it. And, and your uh, sales will increase if you, if you can keep these uh, five things in mind. Uh, thanks. And we'll talk to you next time.